some of this year's The Apprentice candidates will have gone on to secure their businesses without Lord Alan Sugar's help, while others might be deciding on a new career path. Speaking to Express.co.uk and other press, finalist Victoria Goulborn explained how she has considered selling her online sweet shop business, which follows comments from Lord Sugar to keep it as a hobby. Victoria made it through to the grueling interview stage of the BBC competition before being dismissed by Lord Sugar. The episode famously sees industry experts pick holes in the finalists' business plans. When questioned later on by business tycoon Lord Sugar, Victoria tried to defend the vision she had for her company. A lot of miscalculations, Lord Sugar said of Victoria's plan, which the entrepreneur openly admitted to. I definitely got a lot of things wrong when it came to the calculations, she replied. She went on to argue, I'm not an expert when it comes to that, it's the first time I've written a business plan and am young to business. The businessman soon made up his mind to fire Victoria though, and couldn't help but make a remark as she left the boardroom. Making up his mind, he concluded, the thing is Victoria, there is nothing unique about your market, your business. Frankly, I'm not sweet on your idea I'm afraid. So it's been nice working with you, but it is with regret, Victoria, that you're fired. As she thanked Alan, Karen Brady, and Tim Campbell, Victoria wished her co-stars luck and walked towards the door to leave. Keep it as a hobby, it makes a good hobby, Alan advised to a seemingly insulted Victoria. Speaking to the press about the moment, she explained, Alan advised me in the episode to keep my business as a hobby, which I don't know if he meant. Don't miss. East Ender's exit for Emma as Alola Pierce's health declines, latest, The Apprentice fans slam winner as wrong decision by Lord Sugar, reaction, The Apprentice finalist breaks down in emotional off-air moment, exclusive, but my business was not a hobby. It did give me a full-time wage for two years and I'm really grateful for that. I'm so proud that, you know, I was able to build something that did give me a full-time job essentially for the last two years. She went on to add, since leaving the process, I have had thoughts on selling my business. I've just had a lot of opportunities that have come my way and I'm just really passionate about them. And I just really want to pursue them. I just see it as like a new adventure, and I think that's what I'm going to try and concentrate on. It seems Victoria hadn't forgotten about Elon's remark though, and when she returned in the final to assist runner-up Rochelle Anthony, she made a snide comment to the 76-year-old. During Rochelle's branding project, Victoria stepped in as the model in the advert, which Alan made reference to later on. Victoria quipped, yeah, I decided to go into modeling after you told me my last business should be a hobby. The Apprentice is available to watch on BBC iPlayer.